Here's my black uh, clipping box. Here's the photo which I've placed and clipped. And now it's time to resize the photo to fit the box. So I'll press Ctrl T to get the transform handles here. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can do this um, and keep the photo its right shape, not stretch it out of whack, you know. The first, the most common, but probably the, the more difficult, is to hold down the shift key and then grab a corner. And when I do that, um, it stretches out proportionally, even if I'm a bit wayward with my mouse work, as long, as long as I'm holding down shift, the photo stays in its correct shape. I'll bring it out to here. Now this is really important. You must, must, must let go of the mouse key before you let go of the shift key. I'll just escape, I'll just undo that show you what happens if I don't. I hold down shift, I drag this out, and then I release the shift key, and straight away it goes out of shape. See what happens if you drag a corner without the shift key? It can go all over the place, any any old wacky shape, and that's not right. So shift key down, drag it out, and then you must release the mouse key, mouse button first, then the shift key, and it holds, and then I can just move this up into place. Remember that when you're fitting a photo to a box that is the same shape as the photo, uh, some of the photo is going to get cropped, clipped. That's the name of the box. Um, that's perfectly natural. That's how it works. If you don't like what you see, of course, then you'd need to change the shape of the box to be more suitable to the photo. Anyway, I'll just press escape again. Now the other way to do it easier in my mind, I'll press Ctrl T to get the handles again, is I go up to my options bar and I click the little chain icon that links the width and height. Click that. Now I'm not holding the shift key, I can just grab my corner here and no matter how much I wiggle my mouse the photo stays in proportion. Um, so that is a safer method that way by clicking the little link up there. In other versions of Photoshop it may it may actually be a checkbox that says constrained proportions I can't quite remember. Even if that's on uh, it still doesn't mean you can use the side handles on the box. See if I grab this one here and move that in it still stretches the photo out of whack likewise the bottom one. So only use the corner handles. doesn't have to be the bottom right one. It can be any of them. They all work just fine. They keep the photo in proportion. And then press enter to commit that. Easy as that.